for welcome to my channel if you're new here please leave a like comment down below and subscribe and yeah let's get on with the video so today's video is going to be basically me reflecting on my gap year so if you don't know i actually took a gap year i basically i applied for university in 2021 i deferred my entry and then and yeah i've just spent the past year like saving up money uh, traveling although not traveling abroad but i will get to that point and the day i'm actually filming this on is actually a level results day it's currently the 18th of august and yeah so i hope so i hope you all got the results that you wanted and i hope that you're going to the university that you wanted that you wanted to get into if you didn't it's not the end of the world i didn't get into my top choice but that is fine i I'm really looking forward to actually going to the university that I ended up I have ended up going to and that I'm going to in September and yeah it's currently less than a month till I go so I'm a bit nervous but yeah so I thought today I'd go through like the pros and cons of my gap year and basically just answer the question was it worth it to have a gap year now these are mainly just things this is based on personal experience gap year might not be suited for everyone and that is absolutely fine and sometimes you know you should never like just completely throw out the idea of a gap year because they can be quite useful you don't even have to like say go like go abroad all the time and everything like that if you just need a break from education that is perfectly fine to take you take it if you feel like you need it you should take it but anyway i'm going to start with the cons first because I want to end on a positive note. So the first con I'd kind of say is that I am a year behind all my friends. A lot of my friends did not decide to take a year out. In fact, they decided just to go straight to university. Like, obviously it's fine and I respect their decision and I knew that I would be a year behind. I mean, that, that was kind of one of the things I was kind of not really vibing with when considering doing the gap year. And it does kind of feel sad because your friends are like, over in at uni you know enjoying or not enjoying the time there and you kind of feel left out and even if this isn't you know your friends purposely making you feel and feel left out you just kind of feel like that but i found that you know i just had to remind myself that this was what was best for me and you know what's best for me isn't the same as the best for my friends so yeah another con is I've worked for most of the year, which is kind of yay because money, but no, because it was exhausting. I was doing 40 hour weeks for a lot of the summer. I've been doing 40 hour weeks this summer at the moment. Obviously I've had time off here and there to go on little adventures and everything like that. Um, but I have worked a lot and it has been a lot of work. Um, I'd say unless you've got like a fund of money ready for your gap year, you are gonna have to work decent amount to get a decent amount of money to actually fund your gap year, gap year. it was kind of, kind of exhausting and I'm not gonna lie I'm fairly sure I've developed like problems with my health because of the constant working I mean because I'm on my feet a lot and that's and everything like that but hopefully but I am glad that I've managed but I am glad that I had a job that I could stay at and I can work to and I can actually stay in this job I'm at university and just but I'm just going to be reducing my hours and so have some money outside of my student loan. Uh, another con is that I didn't go abroad but to be fair I did do a gap year <laughs> like in 2021 when traveling abroad was a bit up in the air and was a lot of things and it was quite expensive and honestly it just wasn't in the cards I think for me to go abroad I would have loved to have gone abroad but I do think that I wasn't ready to go abroad for anything I, think I am hoping to go abroad soon ish I want to me and my friend are planning on going on holiday next year so hopefully we will get to go abroad together which will be really fun now we're going to go on to pros because as I said I wanted to end on a positive note. First pro, and I'd say this is a major pro that I have, is that I got the break from education that I needed. And obviously, I've been in, I would have been, in, I was in education for like 14 years straight, from like, from, being, from when I was four to when I was 18. 
and I needed a break. I had never wanted to drop out of any form of education, not seriously anyway. Obviously I joke about like dropping out and stuff as most people do, but I've never like actually considered it. But when I, I spent my first two weeks, within the first two weeks of year 13, I was considering it. Now that was also, that was both combined with the stress of obviously year 13, year 13 is quite a stressful year, uh, COVID stuff that was happening and also like a lot of like personal stuff that was happening. So that, that beginning of year 13 just <laughs> was not, was not good. Um, but I did need a break and I needed a break to recover as much as I could from that because obviously university is going to be a whole different ballpark so it's all going to be a lot more independent and stuff like that. I knew I needed a break and yeah that's what I mainly used uh, the thing for after the whole uh, not doing uh, reducing my hours at work temporarily uh, to actually take care of myself. Another pro is, is that I never actually I never actually felt happier than after I made that decision. I've mentioned this before in like a video that that like May period last year was like one of the times when my mental health was at its best and I do miss like how happy I was at that time and that was partially to do with I think the fact that I knew I decided that I was taking a year out. I you know after you know I left uh, college I wasn't going to have to deal with that shit hopefully for another year. Well, I wouldn't have to deal with like it a lot until August because obviously results. But then obviously I didn't have to deal with it for another year, which was fun. The pro is that my friendships have actually gotten stronger. I know that my friendships have gotten a lot stronger because like obviously we don't see each other for a while, but then when we do see each other, it's like, <laughs> yay gotten a lot closer I think and I'm really happy for that. Another pro is I understand myself a lot better now. I've been able to start to recognise when things are getting a bit too much. I can tell the warning signs of when I'm about to have no, a not so good time and how I can kind of you know if not prevent it at least like help make it not as severe. I also know like how to look after myself a lot better. I um, do know how to look after myself better and I've implemented things which have helped me kind of help me cope with things and stuff like that and basically I've learned some coping mechanisms that are healthier for me and yeah. The pro, do another big one for me is that I've had a lot more time to prepare for university than most people because obviously I took a year out. That, that was very smart considering the fact I didn't get into my top choice university. I think having this longer period of time to accept to accept that that I didn't get in and to actually be glad I didn't get in because like I went to lead I went to Leeds because I applied for the University of Leeds to top choice. I didn't uh, I didn't get in but I went there afterwards. I actually went to Leeds uh, for a concert and I had to walk through the campus at Leeds and I am very glad I didn't go just because it was too big for me. Um, I'm sure most people love it and I'm sure I would have acclimised better but I feel like I did kind of need that like time to accept the fact that I didn't get into my top choice university and kind of you know readjust my plans. And then the final pro is that although I didn't go abroad I got to have some amazing experiences which I will treasure forever so yeah I'm gonna be maybe put a little sentimental video over this. Uh, make some memories that I will always treasure and that I can ashes uh, of in my university room so that like when things are, are hard at uni because they will be hard at one point I can be like things happen to you you know you you've got stuff that you can live for and happy memories and they'll serve as like a reminder that they won't always be bad anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like comment down below and subscribe and again uh, i hope you are UA level students university students getting your results and GCC students any if anyone's getting any sort of results i hope that you got what you hoped for and if you didn't it's not the end of the world things can still work out 
maybe not in the way you expect them to, but you know, maybe things will work out in the end. Yeah. And I'll, but yeah, I'll see you all next week with another video.